Traders, what I want to do with this video is show you how to trade the euro dollar on a 15 minute time frame and also how to pass a prop firm challenge with this strategy. So let's go back in time. We'll run a back test and trade this and see how it shapes up. Let's just pick a date. Oh, well, we'll just go November 29. Okay, so here's a point where we can kick off. So we'll hit bar replay. We'll just run it here. And what I want to do is introduce some indicators, the trend channel. And this break is what we're looking for. I'm going to introduce previous highs and lows. So we've got weekly, monthly, daily, previous are highs and lows. The trend bars is going to give us <clears throat> this bar, this green bar that you see down the bottom here. So we're looking for either a green or a red bar to show under. I mean, we can keep it fairly simple. We won't have too much stuff on the chart. There's other indicators and more features we can add here, but let's just run with this. So I'm going to kick off this replay. And what we're looking for is the uh, the indicators to give us some signals. Okay, first thing we've got here is this red bar. This tells us that the four hour and the daily are trending bearish, okay, with strong momentum. So what we're going to be looking for, see this this is a break of structure, this second down arrow. We want this break of structure. You can get a bit aggressive and take this first one. That's generally a change of character in the, in the uh, trend. I prefer the break out of the cloud, but we'll just play this and see how it goes. Sometimes this single triangle here will give us a break out of the cloud. So generally the break out of the cloud is what I'm looking for. So that would have been a nice entry, oh, but we didn't have the red bar under. So let's just play it from here and see see what we get. You can treat this video as a tutorial as well. All right, see what we're trading into here? This yellow line is a daily or a previous daily high or low. See how it's rejected off that? So what we need to do is bring that forward, previous daily. So we'll just mark it up as a 1D and we'll keep that level. We've got this high weekly down below. We've got this daily low down here. So we'll just continue on. So we're going to be using these levels. Now they're pretty important. Down to the weekly, rejects off that. Okay, so we're trading within this range now. Okay, so we've got the range between this yellow and, well, these two down here. It's ranging sideways, so you want to get ready for some action, I would say, because it's going to break out. And we're looking for the bearish break, not a bullish break. The bullish break would be a, typically it would be a, a stop run above the range. This is heading up now. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, spike up. That's a stop run right there. Okay, we've got this green dot right on this weekly level. A break. Okay, this is indicating a, a shift, but we're going to ignore any green signs as far as taking a trade in the green direction. We want to take a trade in a red direction. Bearish. All right, so let's just see what we get here. Trading down. Okay, you want to notice these things here. Have a look at this candle. See left and right of it. There's a gap, right? We just mark up from the low on the left to the high on the right. This is an imbalance that we need to be mindful of. Okay. So it could trade back up into this level. And if it does, it has to be an ideal uh, entry, uh, but I probably want to see this low taken out. So let's just have a look. And ideally we're going to run with our uh, breakout signal, right? Here it is. See that this here, is the, the breakout. It's traveling a bit fast because I've got this on replay. But normally when you see this signal and that'll fire over in the uh, over here in so you can have a look at these alerts going off. These are all opportunities here. You want to take notice of say, these thin candles where we see a range and then a break to the either side with a vengeance. That's the imbalance. Nothing left and right of it. And then it trades back through, rebalances, and look where it trades to. Okay, so it's respecting this daily low. That would have been an ideal entry right here. I know it's traveling a bit fast because of the replay, but if you grab a Fibonacci after you see a red signal like that, pull it from the high to the low, see the pull back into the 50. The 50 coincides with this daily low. You would set a pending order, short position, probably just under here where this traded to. Stop. I would go above the uh, previous high at this point, go for a 1 to 1 1.5 to start with. But we have information on the charts. Have a look. See this orange line? This is a weekly previous high or low. So we want to trade to that. That'll be a target right there. And we've got uh, 1.5R on the dot. 
let's see how this unfolds. And the other thing that's happening here is this long thin candle. So that could give us something as well. All right. Here's another imbalance and here's another entry point. Of course, if you're watching this, you'll be watching these trade in real time and it's not going to be quick like this. But you can mark up this thin candle here left and right and you want the pullback in and we have that. There's the 50% of this imbalance. That's an ideal entry point. So we short it here. Now stop goes above the previous swing high. At the moment, we don't have a target on the chart as such apart from these these lines here but if we look left okay here's a thing well we're looking for a one to two that's going to give us no that's a one to one go left and here's another level here okay use these for targets what have we got 1.6 okay there's risk reward right there okay so we're running off the levels that the indicators are giving us so there's potentially 3r result so we'll just play it We'll just run this. Okay, it's traded back up in. All right, it's reached into this imbalance back in here. See this thin candle here? Have a look left, pick up the low, have a look right, pick up the high, see that? So if you keep an eye out for these things, that could have been another entry point. So I'll just run it. So at the moment, we've achieved a 3R result. All right, so it's trading down. All right, so we've got to change the structure here. Okay, this is a bullish change in character. So you want to be careful. We're looking for a bearish breakout. We'll take the next bearish break that occurs, given that we have our bar under here giving us a go-ahead for a bearish um, opportunity. So let's just play that. Okay, I'll slow it down because this is the four-hour and the daily. All right, we've got the range. Now we want to see the break. There it is right here. So this is your imbalance at the moment until we see a candle on the right confirm it. So let's just do this. Okay, breakout. That's an ideal entry right here. Of course, this is moving quickly and we're missing it, but uh, that's okay. All right, I'll tell you what, I might enter a short. So we've traded back into this imbalance. Let's just sell it here. Okay, stop above the previous high, TP down. Well, we've got a daily low here. Yeah, we've got this target, this target area down in here. See that? So keep an eye on your 1.5R. So let's just throw in a short position here. Target uh, stop loss above the high. What have we got? We got 1.5 exactly. So that's your trade. So let's just run that and see how we go. And then you can change this. You could go for a 1 to 2R if you wanted to. All right, let's play it. See how this is rolling over now. This is giving us a really nice opportunity. Okay, target reach. That's quite nice. So we're just trading this breakout here. Speed it up and see our next opportunity. Ideally, in, in a, in a uh, bearish trend with this red line under or this red bar under, I'm looking for sell opportunities but i'm going to be waiting for my triangle signal so we're, we're trading back into the cloud here so let's just see if we get a, a cloud breakout a bearish cloud breakout okay the strength is in our favor for a short we're trading through the cloud so it's ranging we don't really want to get involved here's our breakout right here guys all right actually that's quite a nice uh, entry point so we can see we've got this thin candle here i'm looking at the candle left and right this one here will do. We'll pull that through. Imbalance. Trading to the imbalance. I'll go with that. Let's just sell it. Stop loss above the previous high. TP. Well, I'll go for my 1 to 5 and just see what that looks like. 1 to, uh, one to 5. 1 to 1 1.5, I should say. Well, there's 1.8. Let's just go back and have a look and see what we've got left. All right. We want to look at these lows here. That's a target. But... We don't see our 1 to 1.5. So if we don't have that, we just, by default, we'll go to 1.5R. All right, it coincides with, use the indicator. See these green dots right here? That's a level. No, we'll just go beyond it. So we want the 1 to 1.5. Continue our journey. So we got a target reached. It's quite nice. And look, we're trading now back into the cloud here. You can see that. I'll just show you the cloud. We'll bump it up a little bit. By the way, guys, if you like what you're seeing, jump on board with us. Uh, the link is below. It's tradingwithanthony.com. See, there's the cloud. See how it's traded back into, into the cloud here? All right, so that's another winning trade. Now, if we see a breakout of the cloud short, I'll be looking to uh, get involved with this. Trades up. Okay, see what we've got here? See this yellow line right here? That's a daily, a previous daily level. That's an important level. Now that this is ranging, let's just slow it down a little bit and see what we get. Okay, we're looking, we're looking for the break. There's the break out of the cloud. That was pretty aggressive, but we've got uh, 
Well, an imbalance here, just picking a candle left and right, the high and low. There's an imbalance here, so this is on the 15M, and then we've got this fairly significant imbalance here. How far back this pulls back, and it doesn't always come back to fill these gaps. If anything, see we've got these lows here, I'd be looking at this imbalance and the one under. You could set a pending order, short position. Notice one thing we've got here, this dotted orange line. That's a weekly. I'm inclined to go with this weekly as resistance and run with this imbalance under here. So let's set a pending short halfway. I don't want to go too far away from these highs up here. I'm looking for the pullback into the low of this range pretty much. So we'll just throw it in here somewhere and let's just see how we go. We've got this low over here. So I'll just go slightly under that, play it stop loss I would go above this imbalance at least you want to be a bit careful it's a bit of a wide stop this one okay so you can tighten it up a little bit and I've got a uh, well is it one to two now down here there's a one to five right here what we've got under here have a look at this see this white line this is a monthly level here and you want to pull that forward and really take notice of these right so I've got a one to five, uh, one to 1.5 risk reward Monthly level under. Let's just see how we go with that. Okay, we didn't get a fill. It's trading off. Let's let it run, see how it plays out. Let's go three, speed it up a little bit. Yeah, it's heading back up. All right, hold it here. See this yellow line? We've got a daily. See how it's respecting these levels? I'm inclined to short it from here. 1D, given that we're, well, no, we've got a green breakout, so we want to be a bit careful. Might leave it alone. The other signal we can look out for are these red dots and red triangles. Anyway, we'll just play that and see what happens. It's, it's a bearish market. We're trading into big resistance here. You can see with these two lines. Ah, look what we got here. Okay, there's our point of interest. We do have a uh, imbalance here, this thin candle. So let's just pull that through and we'll look for a pullback, hopefully up in here. Just go to the base of that, stop above. And we've got a, a look at that one to two down at this, um, nearly a one to two down see this white line this is a monthly and underneath that there's a daily so there's a one to two risk reward see if we get a fill oh hold it there i will take that as a uh, an entry point so we can sell see how we got the red bar under that's quite a nice entry so we'll sell here there's our stop there's our tp tighten that up a little bit just above the previous high pull it down so that's going to give us a better risk reward we've got one to two risk reward here play so we've got the break out of the cloud. This is just moving back into rebalance. And look, also there's risk involved. Of course there is. If this trades higher than the previous high, well, that's where we've put our stop loss. So we can abandon the trade or let ourselves get taken out. That's fine. Let's see how we go. But we've got a big, look, you know what? The other thing we can, you can introduce, see this indicator here. This is our accumulation distribution levels. Look, see this red shaded zone up in here? That's our resistance and we've got a target. Green shaded zone is support. So, you know, we can use these these indicators. We've got more that we can introduce here, but uh, I don't want to overwhelm you at the moment. What have we got? Okay, we're heading down to our target. Not reached at the moment. And a pullback. Oh, this is another entry point, by the way, guys. See how we have these lower highs here? Look at this. See, we've got lower high, a bit of a higher low, but... What's important with this is, is this, the fact that we have, let me just show you this, lower high, and we've got to look for the imbalances. There's the imbalance right here. So that's your entry point short. So you could add to your position, given that this is a breakout of the cloud, where, right here, okay, that's a breakout of the cloud. Okay, we can see this trend, even though we've got this these higher lows, I'm running with this red signal, pretty much. Anyway, we'll just keep going. All right, target reached. So you can see how we're building this now. And we'll just stay with the uh, process. So we're looking for red dots or red triangles, given that this bar down here is giving us a red bearish trend. Red dots, red. Uh, and the other thing you can do, if this is a, a bearish trend, you could, in fact, without even looking for any uh, signals, see how this is ranging. And we had this stop run. See this candle here, imbalance. I'm looking for that. It's a bearish trend. And what have we got above? See this red shaded zone, big resistance. 
we've got a monthly right here, a daily, and I'm thinking that if anything, this is going to trade south. Here's a target. So if we see a pullback into this, you could actually go down to a three minute time frame and you'll see alerts firing down there that are not firing on the daily, uh, on the 15 minute. So you can, you can use that. So I'm going to go short here, midway through this, stop above. Well, see the the cloud, we can put the stop loss in the cloud just slightly above these red dots. There's your 1 to 5, 1.5, somewhere around here. Just play it and see what happens. Oh, hold it there. I'm a bit slow, aren't I? But there's your entry. Oh, well, we'll sell it here. Uh, you don't want to chase price, and I'm chasing price at the moment. But uh, that's okay, just for this demonstration. There's our target. All right, down we go. There's a couple of things I want to mention. See, we're up 1,200 here already. And I mean, every one of these trades has worked out. You just got to follow the rules. I want to introduce you to Mega Funded. I know one of the the owners of this business. He was a business development manager uh, for Pepperstone, one of the biggest uh, brokers. And uh, he's uh, set up Mega Funded. And look at this. I'm going to invite you to use our signals, our trade alerts, our VIP to jump on board with these guys take advantage of a massive discount they're offering and you could even start with a small account if you wanted to but look at these very very small risk fifty dollars with how much twenty five percent off that gives you an opportunity to trade you know we'll go for a bigger account if you use my promo code we'll come back to this because I'm going to offer you a discount on this as well my, my preferred prop firm and these are the reasons why if you use my link below my affiliate link well, they're offering a 25% discount, so use their discount at the moment. But if you use this affiliate link here, I will offer you 50% off my VIP membership. 50% off these prices. All you need to do is go to the contact page up here and send me a message and say, let me know that you want the 50% discount and uh, this will get you set up trade through December, January, but this will get you set up nicely for a very interesting year ahead. Okay, you can see how this has been working. All right, let's continue on. Again, I mean, treat this as a tutorial. There's other videos that I've done on this. It's okay, we're still, here we go, stop, whoa. <laughs> it's traveling a little bit fast, but there's our breakout. And have a look left for gaps. You see this thin candle here? There's your gap. Now, I'll tell you what we have. We have, if you want to use our indicators i've got another indicator here that you can use it's called the pin bar pivots and what i've done is i'll show you what i've done see, see this is showing us the imbalances so these are going to be our targets for an entry what i've done is i've changed this a little bit this bull and bear color i've taken down to zero because i don't want that i just want to see these gray uh no this is actually showing us um trend lines okay so i'm just dropping that back to zero i don't want those on the chart and bullish imbalance bearish imbalance i mean look you could change that if you want to bullish is green and bearish is got something like that bullish and bearish okay all right so we have bearish imbalances right here that we can see here's a bullish imbalance okay so you can adjust the colors to suit okay i would consider shorting probably further back up in here would be ideal at the base of this target the low stop above okay above these highs here something like that play it see what happens ranging okay it's traveling sideways you could probably abandon the idea at this point because i'm really only looking for this kind of you know activity once it's long in the tooth like this i'm likely to let it go and just wait for the next opportunity okay see we've got a bullish break oh you know what we've got here see this this is significant actually i'll tell you what i'm going to do i'm going to change the color of these pivots because we've got red and green support and resistance levels. So I'm gonna keep these guys gray. In any case, I'm gonna ignore this. We've got a red signal here that's giving us a potential. Okay, now it's breaking above here, stop run. So we could see that. We've got an imbalance. This could be the target down here. That would be a target, right? Look for the imbalances, guys. But uh, I'll let that one go and let's just see what happens. <laughs> target reached. What do we got? Another red break in. That's into the cloud. This is a break out of the cloud. So we leave that alone. We really only want to go with the trend here. And at the moment, we've got this bullish breakout. Okay, we've got red forming here. We're looking for a red opportunity now. Okay, another breakout and we are in business. So we're above the cloud. 
we are in the cloud. I don't mind this. A little bit aggressive, but you know why I will take this trade? Have a look and see what we've got here. This white line is a monthly. This dotted line is a daily. This is the high of the, the, the cloud here. Big resistance, so we've got resistance above. See this red shaded zone? I quite like this, and I don't mind I don't mind this, although we don't really have a, uh, an imbalance here. All right, but yeah, it's trending down, it's traded into the cloud. I mean, look, that's higher risk, but I mean, I do like the fact that we've got resistance above and we've got this red bar under. It, you know, you've got to weigh up whether it checks all your check boxes or not. So this doesn't check all the check boxes. I just like this resistance above, so I'd probably short that myself. I get a bit aggressive. Stop above the cloud. And we're going to go TP our normal thing. Short position, here we are. So we're going to go minimum 1 to 1.5. There it is there. Now see what we've got left? This yellow line, that's a daily. All right, so I'm good with that. There's our 1 to 1.5 risk reward. So let's just see how that plays out. Green dot, always a little bit of a worry because we could expect a bit of a pullback. Oh yeah, we've got a bit of a pullback there. You know, the other thing you can introduce to the charts if you want to is these trend bar one and trend bar two. These are my older trend bars with the bar color. And we have this channel running through the middle, the pull back into the channel. I quite like, I mean, I love the visuals. I'm, I'm a really, a I'm a visual kind of guy. I, I love the colors and the visuals. So this is kind of trending sideways at the moment. You could ignore anything that's going on here until we see a clear signal. So let's just see what happens. Guys, 50% off. Here we go, look, there's our break. And the indicators are giving us the imbalance. See it here? I've just shaded it gray. Bump it up if you like. And you can adjust everything on here to, to suit. Okay, I'll set a, uh, sh a long, a short position, the base of this imbalance. See how we go. Stop in this case. Uh, well, we've got, see this red resistance level? This is a distribution level. See, it's picking up these white candles, this range back in here. And we've got this yellow line under here so this yellow there's a daily we've got red resistance our entry point it's not really a one to uh 1.5 that's the only problem okay here's the thing we're looking at this price swing high to low we just pull that one there my target will be the base of this swing low here something like that don't go overboard but look a one to two would be quite nice if we get that or you could go a happy in between 1.5 1 to 1.7, something like that. Let's have a look at these candles here. See, we've got resistance under uh, support under here as well. So, yeah, don't be greedy. Something like that could work. Let's see if we get that. Oh, my goodness, okay. See our stop loss? We uh, got away with that one <laughs> by a couple of pips using this red resistance up here. Got an entry. It's trading down. Do we get a fill? I mean, do we? Uh, yeah, we do. There you go. Another successful trade. So we've had a... Pretty good win rate, I have to say. Let's just keep going with this, see what comes up. The imbalances, you can see. Oh, okay. <laughs> Congratulations, all right. $1,400 USD, very nice. Good win rate. Okay, guys, 50% off. Jump on board, share this journey with me. Okay, all you have to do is shoot me an email through the contact form here or you know, admin at tradingwithanthony.com. Just let me know you want the 50% discount and mega funded these guys. This is incredible. An amazing opportunity to get funded. Okay, all the information's on my website. Have a look. And with that, have a great day. Safe trading and we'll see you in the next video.